Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to Death State. In our last episode, we uh, took the brawler down to the Lost Arcanum. Um, did very, very well for ourselves, in, in my honest opinion. Uh, but we are left with one player that we have yet to touch, the Priest. Max HP plus one, damage point two five uh, bonus, a movement speed penalty, and some other stuff as well. Maybe it was some Lori bits, or no, probably what his spell was. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to take him down to uh, the first lair. It's your mind you're losing, not your life. Your life was already lost. Alright, here we go. Uh, getting back on the horse. It's been a, been a few days. Um... Pretty much, uh, as always, I, I ultimately uh, kind of took the weekend off, as it were, from recording and things like that. Logged on uh, a lot of Isaac time. I'm still, believe it or not, for you know my 260 plus hours in that game, I'm still grinding greed mode and getting just obscenely trolled by that game. Um, I'm down to a point where I, I need two pennies to unlock the keeper and it has taken me six runs I think to deposit one penny in it. The game is just raking me over the coals. Um, I had more than a penny but the, char or the character who had like a one percent chance of breaking the machine broke the machine on the first penny so that uh, that trolled me pretty good. But uh, I haven't done my daily run yet, and I think that's definitely going to be the moment of zen that I think I kind of need to wash the taste of greed mode out of my mouth. Which, uh, yes, I, I'm playing Death State and we're talking Isaac, but that's... just go with it. Because um, it, not a whole lot's happening right now. We haven't found our champion, we haven't found a, a golden chest or anything of the sort. But, uh... Anyway, as I was saying, Binding of Isaac, um, Greed Mode is fun in small doses. You, you play it once in a while to kind of get yourself out of a funk you might have with regular streak or regular runs. And then you sort of go back to the status quo. But I've been grinding it like mad to get, um, well, first Holy Mantle from, uh, or for the lost. There's our champion. Um, all right, looks like we get a relic. The three gem idol cause explosions, bring pain. Okay, can do that. I don't know if that hit him or not, but we're certainly going to try and loosen him up a bit. Get ourselves our first organ, and let that kind of dictate where our run goes. But uh, but yeah, with just the the pure amount of greed mode I've been playing. I, I think I need a regular good old fundamentals run. The Hungry Heart, 1 max HP, 1% luck. Which means we should uh, get some better drops for ourselves. Hopefully. To excuse me if I pull away from the microphone every now and then. Uh, I am kind of doing battle with uh, some chest crud at the moment. And uh, I am feeling the need to cough. My voice may sound a little off. It feels a little... Uh, not quite hoarse, but labored, maybe. Um, but we'll, we'll try to keep rolling with uh, the commentary as best as possible see if we've got anything worthwhile down here. It's probably just going to chase us into a dead end. So far, the uh, the priest seems to be doing okay for himself. I took a little bit of damage there, but I mean, I, I pretty much navigated the entirety of the first floor pretty much without incident. Alright, let's see what our next relic is going to be. Hmm, this is new. Unknown Relic. Launch 12 bullets that spread plague. Um, plague is, is a pretty good uh, effect when it does hit. 
because it does a, a compounded damage over time effect, and uh, typically when the enemies explode while plague, they will spread the aforementioned plague. The yellowed eel guts, plague damage 30%, alright, so that's going to make our, our special there pretty good. Uh, we've got a mystery potion, alright. Got another mystery potion, which it appears it brought things back, or the first one brought things back to life, which doesn't really thrill me to any great length, but let's navigate through here, shoot up this way. Another champion. That's good stuff. Just stay away from the candy skulls. Or, you know, get hit by everything. Alright. The blue blooded hungry heart. Um, pray to fire down, max HP up, our magic point regeneration up. Not entirely sure what hit me there, but maybe my court vision isn't quite what it should be yet. Let's see. 135 gold, full magic points. Bump in here, hit that. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Drop in here, do much the same thing. Head down to layer three. It's our champion right off the bat. Let's clear a little real estate for ourselves. I was gonna make make it out of there scot free. Uh, let's see, magenta eye rate of fire 10%, so that's uh, pretty much a wash. Uh, the awaken potion, not tremendously interested in just yet. Um, I don't think I really want to resurrect the enemies around me. Just tasty, tasty health. The golden cross blade plus 0.4 damage emits lasers. I am a fan of the lasers, so... So it seems that it tracks quite well, which is certainly helpful. Some lasery death. There we go. Alright. Sorry, that just felt like it was uh, a little trickier than it probably honestly was. He says taking damage. Alright, let's we'll ice these fools and then we'll uh, pop into our boss fight. Let's see who we fight. Shar Sahal, the Arch Undead. Zap him with some plague damage. That should hopefully open some inroads for us to kind of deal with the detritus currently uh, being summoned by Shar Sahal. Alright, let's, let's 
keep that damage under control here. Alright. Got two organs for the trouble. Uh, we'll take that unidentified potion. The introvert potion. Not my favorite. Let's see, fungal fragment. Plus 0.1 damage. Plus 10% uh, for plague. Um, fire and spray. Didn't quite catch what that was, but we can have a look real quick. Possibly. What's this? The unstable heart. Uh, fire and a spray. Deal extra damage. It's a chest slot. The unstable beating heart. It causes your magical power to spray forth unbound by mortal focus. Okay. An interesting little lorry bit. We all die sometimes. It's just the good ones that don't stay dead for long. Okay. There may be something to that. We have entered the Grave of Time. Bugtown. Yeah. I I actually forgot about the mind flood that comes with this place. When the horde really decides it's gonna descend on you. There's our champion. Let's get some magic points out there and get some suckers plague. I'm not even sure what my special even does. Fetal thing. Uh, luck plus two, ice damage, fire damage, everything up. And then I think a down, perhaps? I don't know. Let's have a quick looky loo. There's the fetal thing. Nope. Uh, plus 20 damage up on everything, plus two luck. Uh, some primitive unborn thing. It seems humanoid, but you know it originated beyond your own world. It shuffles and swims about, or about oblivious to your actions. The more you know. Alright, so that was a not good potion. Still very much like a tome, if possible. That would make me a happy boy. His regular special is uh, Explosion. There's our portal. I want to have a gander over this way. I don't. We're just getting to that point where uh, I don't feel our damage is in, is in a truly bad spot, but. Uh, we still have uh, basically what is a open weapon slot for ourselves, and uh, there's a book. All right. I should very much like to uh, remedy that, so we're going to. The uh, Helix and Vectus Major fire three waves of fire. Which, uh, that should help with being swarmed a little bit over. Uh, just our, our single single target laser, although it is kind of slicing through enemies with great efficiency. I had a congregation once, dead so long ago. I wonder if they went someplace like this. Try and get those skulls sorted in a timely fashion, since they kind of create that white noise effect. Definitely give you some some snow blindness in terms of you know, seeing the, the level. Surprised I haven't seen a, a vendor anywhere yet. 
I can't believe that hit me. I can't believe that hit me. Oh, the scumbag that I am with the damage. Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. The damage is real. Alright. Yeah, our health is really beginning to diminish um, greatly. Uh, there's our champion. No slimes coming back. That's not helping. The Byla slime bag. Negative one hit point. Damage plus point two. And other stuff. I said, if, if they could just keep that persistent for just another, like, second and a half. Uh, movement speed plus 5%, fire rate 10%. Alright, so I think we're actually in a positive fire rate, maybe? Rate of fire, yeah, 110%. Our movement speed is still looking pretty awful, though. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, this... This cold stuff I've got going on is just the most unpleasant thing. Um, as you know, I mean, he head colds are always awful, but uh, a chest cold is just a whole other, other dimension, as it were, of awful. Truck in my parking lot, starting up. Not sure if, if the microphone is catching that or not. Got sort of priests who have the green, or er, then the sack dudes, which yeah, do the whole green explodey bit. There's our champion. And some damage for our trouble. What do we got here? The Biomech Heart, Fire and Burst, deal extra damage. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, since I'm using the laser, I don't think I'm getting any of that Fire and Burst kind of stuff going for me. Uh, wait for these beetles to finish with their detonation and all of that so I can get here, hopefully find ourselves some health. Um, otherwise, I'm just not entirely sure we're really going to even make it to our boss fight at this point, which is pretty awful. Um, since we've had a, a pretty decent track record with uh, getting into the, what I'm assuming is the late game, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure that there's probably a something close to a wave 20 or a layer 20 eventually. Um, Maybe not, though. And then there's certainly endless mode to, uh, to hit as well. Alright, got another book here. What do we have? The Bloodstone Bible, Old Testament, Fires, Plague, Bullets. Um, I think we do have... Yeah, we're doing 160% plague damage. So, I think that's going to serve us very well. Stop with the damage taken. Ah, we 
Look at that. A vendor. But it's a ga or it's a gambling vendor, of course. So let's pop one, see what it does. I think we won. Nothing substantial, just some more money that we won't really be able to spend um, for any genuine purpose, anyway. Uh, at least before our next uh, boss fight or anything like that. Know why I'm even going for that gold? Because uh, it led me to. Uh, some health, I guess. Let's see, uh, there's more down there, even. Good, good. Alright. Just like that, kind of gotten into a better damage situation. So, uh, I think we're just gonna hit the exit and uh, see who we fight. Atlash, the, the malignant flesh beast. That sounds cheery. Well, I think so long as we kind of keep our heads about us, lay in the damage where we can, it's like we've gotten, uh, Atalash into a, a potential second phase. Let's get them little fellas dealt with. Alright. There's a, yep, we're in a, a third phase now. But I think barring any sort of, you know, magic hole scenarios, I think we should probably have this fight sorted. Yep. Probably not the prettiest fight ever, but... The Flagellum Gut, movement speed 10%. Um, I had kind of hoped for a better payout than that. There is no peace here. Only the Restless Infinite. Uh, we are in the Vestibule of Caucasus. There is our champion already. just as soon not get hit by the charm shots. Those things are kind of awful. They flip your control scheme. The Robust Heart, one max HP. I won't complain about getting the da or the, uh, the hit point, but I really would have liked some damage up. Um, not if I could possibly get myself into some sort of multi-laser situation. That would be pretty alright. Uh, now bullets are strange. Um, I think this will actually kind of serve us a little better than the laser, since we don't have to kind of be in a direct line of sight. It appears that our, our range is considerably better for it. Yeah, lasers may not have been the right play for as long as I had them, but I'm not sure if there's a way to drop relics. Um, but yeah, this def I definitely feel more potent now than uh, I did previously. 
Now if I can just not walk into fires, that would be pretty spectacular too. There's our portal. More gold. Make sure things are dead. And we'll get. I bet a skeleton could throw a man's arm a thousand miles. This definitely has, has sped up our uh, our clearing of floors, which I do find somewhat surprising. But you know, maybe I'm sort of turning lasers into my my sacred cow, as it were, and not really acknowledging that you know maybe lasers are not that great. I mean, they're better than, than plain bullets, just because they basically compensate by having a, a richer rate of fire, but uh, they're more hits per tick, or however you want to address that. But this is clearing the area with extreme prejudice. I did see that chest over there, um, and we'll be heading over there momentarily. Concentration for me. <coughs> All right. that there's anything of use to us there. So let's head down to the next floor. Oh, that was kind of silly damage. I, I watched the bullets come in. Just looking right at them. But we weren't punished for too long, which is always a, a great thing. Right now, I don't even know what, what I would really want out of a, a golden chest. Um, I think that's just a, a bullet relic, I think. Yeah, the Iron Maiden's head. Concentric explosions of flame. That is not bad. Um, but this is a, basically a, a poison build. Um, our playgrounds are doing... Or our plague damage is our highest modifier. So we need to play to our strengths. guard our weaknesses. There's our champion. Who was melted. Uh, 
the brain from afar. Fire and burst deal extra damage. So, more burst damage. More and more and more burst damage. Slower roll a little bit here. We are starting to accumulate some white stuff in our upper left hand corner. It's not weighed in neck deep into the hate, you know. Not entirely sure what hit me there that nullified the one or the half skull of damage I found, so I think it's about time we uh, made our way to our boss fight. Uh, the Furnace. Carsassus. Amon Morex, the champion of the feast. Alright, looks like in. Uh, First phase kind of stuff. Concentric attack patterns are good. He's gonna triple down with sugar skulls. Ah, he got me. Not too much trouble. I'm um, actually feeling pretty good. Uh, what do we got? The abridged Terranomicon. Fire one fearful bullet. Uh, no. Twin hearts. Uh, plus two hit points. Now if we can just start getting a source of health for ourselves. There's so many existences. One must be heaven. We need only to find the portal. Alright. Sorry, I need to take a sip of my coffee. Kind of felt like a wild hair in my throat. Something. Whoa. Some suicide bomb kind of stuff going on. Alright. Hoping that my plague stuff is just gonna kind of do a lot of the work for me if I can sort of infect a target and then fall back a short distance and kind of let the the damage over time, the little plague explosion stuff, all of that sort of work as best it can to my advantage. And there's our champion. St. Victor's Wisdom Tooth, uh, Magic Point Up, um, not awful by any stretch, um, as often as I do tend to use my AoE Plague Attack, um, that's really not that bad. Uh, what do we have, the Ruby Scimitar, uh, I don't think that's gonna, gonna top what we've got right now. Our weird bullet style 
plague stuff is, I think, serving us a little better. Skull. All right, there's our exit. Uh, that gold is not that important. Sensed an ambush. All right, layer fourteen. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this uh this AoE attack I've got going on is is saving the day. Interested in. Bust up them sarcophagi. Alright, full health. Now, if we can just maintain some semblance of that. I think we're in a good spot. I hear a champion? Am I just hearing things? Did I say that out loud or was that only in my head? Well, let's see here. It does not appear we've got a portal over this way, so we're gonna start heading right. Never seen so much blood. Great job. Layer fifteen. Oh, that felt good to be able to outrange, uh Amphibian Egg Cluster, movement speed 5%, rate of fire 10%. Sweet. I will take it. Happily. Well, good thing that was there. Alright, so we're just gonna kinda... not rush, but... I don't think we need to, to hang around too much more often. Um, 
doesn't feel like we're probably going to get a whole lot better than we currently are. That was close. Oh, and there we go. All right. so let's stop with taking the silly damage. Yeah, the ones rushing us down, now, those are the ones that I'm, I'm kind of in fear of. Because sometimes they can kind of penetrate our defenses just quickly enough to lay in a hit. As it stands with nearly any game of this type, I'd, I'd rather be leaving health on the ground than be left needing it. You know. into a bullet there? What the heck? What the heck? Alright. Okay, I'm, I'm taking too many hits. It's time to fight our final boss. Seat of the Arcanist. Um, yep, the Primal Id, the Soul of the Abyss. Alright, so we need to be aware of the bullety hell. And we also need to be aware of the holes in the ground. And the fact that we're probably going to have numerous phases of this guy to fight, I suspect. Case in point, um, yeah, those things were, well, they, they cost me my, my last run to this point, so I just have to be prepared to dodge out of the way whenever possible. And those wormholes do a lot more damage. Alright, here we go. Part two. Alright, so he is... Doing more funky stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be gonna be eating it here in just a moment. I suppose there's nothing like, you know, taking her right down to no health. Um, alright, $745. Where is this taking us? Oh, we've done it. The energy seal the library door has gone. Now we can finally escape. Wait, no. Where are we? Quick. Everybody back inside. So, the Matron of the Pits have finished tallying your accomplishments. Your score is 14,246. Woo! Felt good. Unlocked. Alternate endings. I. And Meteor Peace. I am everything. I cannot die. What will happen to all... Or, to you... To all now. To you all now. What? Alright. Well, son of a gun, that is the first time I've ever beaten this game, so I'm feeling... Ah, and a new player to boot. Alright, so yeah, that felt pretty good. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode of Death State, please be sure to press the like button down below. 
If you have any comments, questions, or critiques for me, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. With that, this has been Death State. I'm Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming.